Final against Dorky Wanderers, I got on top of the stand ah. with Luigi, oh, uh, singing songs to him and, uh, and obviously he's um, published yeah. it on yeah. his show saying yeah. like how he wanted to meet me and talk about Luigi and that. Okay, so you got up on top of the stand. Yeah, I got with on top of the stand and also right, like, right. after I'll the penalties yeah. when right. Dorky won. You tell, you tell us now then Jack, yeah. yeah. Well, all I can say is um, the Carl Shorten fans, you guys have been absolutely fantastic so far this season. Um, all the players, once again, appreciate everything you're doing. Over 400 of you turned up today on Boxing Day, which is magnificent. Um, hope you've had a good Christmas period. Hopefully you went all too merry, if you know what I mean, today. Um, and wishing you a happy, happy new year. And that's for myself and all the players.
Substitution Corinthian Casuals coming off number 8 Ben Shecklett and he's been replaced by number 16 Josh Uzum. indicated there'd be a minimum of three minutes additional time. This is John Kistner for Robins TV after this afternoon's goalless draw between uh, Carshorton Athletic and Corinthian Casuals in the top of the table craft in Bo Bostick South and I have with me uh, Jack from Corinthian Casuals and AJ from Carshorton Athletic. Uh, what's your take on the game Jack? Uh, it was a fairly tight game, third and fourth place obviously, no one wanted to give anything up. Carl Shorten preferably had the better of chances to finish the game off but I think our defence was, at the end of the day, a lot better. Considering we've had a lot of injuries, a lot of players missing, we've always kept the unity and the shape together within the team, and I, I really like to see that from our team. It's great, and it's, I can see us going a long way this season. Yeah. And I think there are a few chances on both ends of the pitch, weren't yeah, there? There was a few, few chances on both ends, but as I said, at the end of the day, I think Carl Shorten probably had the better chances to score. Mm. but. At the end of the day, no one wanted to give up the chances. No one wanted to make it easy for okay, each other. Thanks. Okay, so no stick problem. around. AJ, what would you take make of the game today? Um, I thought it was a, a enjoyable game, actually, as a Carchon fan. It was always going to be a tough Corinthian casuals being up there in the league table round where we are. Yeah. And um, so it was never going to be a lot of goals in this one. But uh, two solid defences. I mean, I can say from Corinthian casuals, their tactics quite early on, yeah. on Mikkel Midler, they got three people around yeah. him. And... Um, yeah, I mean it was a it was a it was a good tactics. It was a good match between both sides and big big guy personally as a Car Shorten fan because uh, right at the end that's the two great chances to clinch yeah. it just yeah. right in the last minute. But that was Oliver Banyu and um, and Ricky Cobo. And Cobo, yeah, Cobo one was the one that's the most calling because that's probably would have been the last kick of the game that one. So but it wasn't to be and. Um, you know, nil nil. I mean, oh, you, you can't take that yeah. really. I no. mean, that's points better than nothing at all. Yeah, absolutely so. not. I think Jack, that uh, you had a couple of free kicks right near the end, yeah, yeah. and uh, Josh Usham stepped up to take them uh, right on the edge of the box, wasn't it? Yeah, literally. Yeah, uh, with Josh Usham as well. He's a pinpoint specialist with Josh Usham, but he couldn't manage to get them on target today. Another game maybe, but today just maybe wasn't his day to put it in the back of the net. Right. I've got two young lads with me who both play for Carshorton White's under 12. So, what do you think of the game today? Um, I 
didn't think we played too badly, but like we had a few chances at the end that we could have scored, but yeah. yeah. And we had a couple of good chances at the end, didn't we? Yeah, especially one where Mike where like he missed it at the last minute, so yeah. Um, it was it was a good game, just guided that we couldn't uh, take our chances and finish them. Yeah. 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 And we had a couple of good chances right at the end, didn't we? Uh, Oli Sabanyu and then Ricky Kobawi. I mean, he just had to hit the target, didn't he? Yeah, got it. And by the way, mm -hmm. car short on a bed and something. Oh, that's very good of you. That's very good of you. <laughs> that's, a, that's, that's a great remark. Well done. <laughs> Just, yeah, I mean, I'm so proud. I'm so proud. It is a community, uh, a community activity. Keep coming, the young ones. And Paul, our owner, club's owner, he brought uh, his family this, uh, this afternoon, including his father, who sat up in the stand. That was really good. Thank you very much. I, I'd love to say, it reminds me to say the credit to the people that, that really do deserve such credit for this. People whose hearts are, are in the game. You believe because because they believe and um, it's infectious. Um, Paul and his wife Claire and I'm sure the family you know are a credit yeah. to football at this level. Yeah. Danny Bracken uh, who's goalkeeper for, Cash uh, for Corinthian Cashel, sorry about the strip there. Uh, what do you think of the game today? It was very cagey, uh, both teams didn't want to lose, um, I think both teams know that we're both two good teams and yeah it was a very cagey game. Could have nicked it at the end, both teams, so yes. yeah, I think that points a fair result, really. Absolutely, and uh, I think both teams, as you say, were a bit cagey, a little bit concerned. Um, I mean, you played one up top in the first half, definitely. We played one up top, so... Yeah, it's, it's really tight at the top of the league. You can't really afford to lose too many games from now on. No. So pick up points against the other top teams and hopefully beat all the teams at the bottom, and then you won't be too far away at the end of the season. And Josh Houston came on towards the end. Two free kicks were right on the edge. Yeah, if, if you're putting your money on anyone to score the free kicks, it'd be easy here. Um, yeah, he'd normally tuck them away, both of them, really. Yeah. And I think both of them were very close. So, yeah, on another day we could have nicked it, but I think a point probably a fair result. Has James got the lads back from injury now? Because you had a few injuries, haven't you? Well, he's still got a few. I think we've got eight or nine out still. Um, so when you think about that, and the teams were getting out there now, and still the strength we've got on the bench, mm -hmm. um, it bodes well for the final push at the end of the season. You're making me look like a dwarf <laughs> on, 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 on fans' TV, but uh, never mind. Um, quite a cagey game today. Bit of a stalemate, bit of a game for the neutral. Cole Shortwood overall, I think, personally, should have taken it. What was your take? Um, could we just play the last interview? And pretty much the same thing. Um, chances again. Um, the boys were absolutely magnificent today. Um, stuck to the game plan. We limited them to very, very few opportunities. Been there two in the second half um, from free kicks. One in the first half, which came from our mistake. Um, bar that, I can't remember any other chances that they really had. Um, like I said we had a game plan from the first half to the second half and the boys executed it perfectly bar finishing our chances. Um, yeah, that's, that's the only thing I could actually say, not finishing yeah. our chances. Yeah, I don't think Carl Shorten should be too downhearted today. I think uh, the 1-1 one -one was a, overall a good point overall. It is a very good point when you're competing against people in and around you but um, on reflection um, you know if you said to me before the game would you take a point mm, I would have said yeah because you expect them to actually you know be one of your main competitions but after the game you feel like it's two points dropped um, based on the chances that we had and the opportunities that we had we pretty much dominated the game and controlled the game. Um, like I said, they're a very, very good side. Um, very good side. You can see why they're up there. But, you know, it's a day that I feel we performed to our levels and we should have taken three points if we took our chances. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And what about the 12th man behind the goal? Both, uh, both ends, really. Absolutely. I'm, I mean, again, the, the, the support from the fans is, is a fantastic thing. This is a fantastic thing. Chris, behind the camera, has done remarkable remarkable things. I, I, I said to him that this season when I saw the, the, the small film that we're making about the Robins brought me to tears and not just once. I've looked at it looked at it about ten times. Look at it everybody. Go and get see what is coming and what 
um, the passion exists in this game and it's thanks to people like Chris people like yourself John you know much respect happy Christmas happy new year everybody <laughs> and almost to Horsham on Saturday almost to Horsham you know I couldn't be more happy you know that this is what it's all about it's the next game the next game we're looking you know looking forward uh, and, the South, and South Park on uh, New Year's Day that'll be a tough one at their place if it happens uh, you know there, there are little little words about you know maybe the, the weather might might be a factor in that game but yes uh, and we've got difficult games to come which we we um, you know with relish we, we look forward to now we're as good as any car short and the robins absolutely wonderful and and peter credit to the team and peter adonai who i adore as a, as a player manager one of the most difficult roles in non-league football a player manager uh, and and he's he's just inspirational tell me about uh, sterling parker i mean today i think i felt he was seriously seriously missed today what's his injury like and when is he expected to be back well, initially we thought it was going to be a month or two, um, but it looks like it could be back a lot sooner than that. So, you know, doing some light work in the gym and hopefully she'll be back in the next week or two, um, which will be really good. The squad is really strong, um, having to leave people out of the squad at the moment, which is a good place to be. Um, and being able to rotate people in and out of the squad is really good because we need to manage everyone through this um, tricky Christmas period. Um, but like I said, anyone that comes in is performing to expectations, um, so I've got no no issues regarding who plays. Um, everyone supporting each other, and you know when we have Ryan back, it will add more more power to the squad and more headache for myself, which is really good position to be in. Right, so we're here with Omari Del Delgado Hibbert. I've rehearsed that about a thousand times, still couldn't get it right. So, uh, what do you think of the game overall today? Um, everyone's been really polite today, but what's your take on it? I thought it was a tight game in the first half. Um, everyone was really compact, defending well. Um, I think Carl Shelton edged it at a point, just coming towards the end. Um, There's a bit of fatigue with, um, but there was chances each way. And then Ricky had a nice chance at the end, Carboa, but luckily he missed and that. It's a draw, it's a point away from home. So, you know, we were very fortunate with that. So yeah, thank you. Yeah, it was a rather big miss. I mean, we could see it again on the replay. I mean, uh, opportunity at the last, very dead last minute of the game. I mean, it would have been a completely different story for us in the league and for you guys going forward yeah. now. Yeah, um, that means if you look, Scott, obviously you would have went top today. But we needed the points as well because right now I don't know the scores with the um, teams ahead of us, the Lewis, the um, Cray Wanderers. But it's two strong teams and, you know, like we'll both be there at the end of the season, I think, at the top. So... Our points good for both of us in a way. Um, I thought it was a thoroughly enjoyable afternoon's football. Just couldn't be bettered. And I think at the end of the day, the result was a fair one. Um, and uh, I, I, I'm very, very happy. Undefeated by Corinthian casuals this season. <laughs> and a good attendance, 424. That's one of our... Wonderful. Wonderful, John, yes. I mean, this is this is great. I have an old friend of mine whose uh, non-league roots are very uh, illustrious um, and uh, he thoroughly enjoyed the game of football. We enjoyed the athleticism, the difficulties uh, that the young players face at this level of football. Um, so enjoyable um, and so, um, so appreciated by myself. Um, uh, yeah, I think so many people in the ground. A, th a thoroughly good afternoon sport. It's now looking like a little mini league between the six teams and top six and it's good that we're part of it. We just got to take one game at a time and you know that one less game we've got to worry about now. Um, I believe there's 20 games left now of the season and still 60 points off a grab and we'll be able to grab every single one of them. So we'll keep going. Harry Thumps sure I'm 7-0 uh, today I think. I, I think they're going to be the ones at the top. They're, they're the ones to be catching. I think Lewis will falter. They've got a young team and experienced. Uh, Cray have got a little bit more about them. Um, I think if you're close to Cray at the end of the season you're going to be far off. So And yourselves as well. I think we're either playoffs hopefully we keep going and yourselves. Yeah again with no budget for us to be up the top of the league again it's for terrific. a third year in a row is an amazing achievement. Yeah, um, and last season as well to get the playoff final. Yeah, I've just got over that to be honest. Um, 
yeah, we, we got there and we proved that we should have been up last season. Um, and hopefully we don't have to go to the playoff again. But if we do, we've got that experience from last season we can take into it. Sure. Talk to me about uh, Ricky Carboa's miss. He's not going to like me for, coming, for talking about it, but that was a miss and a half, surely. It's not the only one. Um, everyone's going to maybe focus on that, on that one. But for me, there were four or five other good chances through the game that we should have taken two or three of those before that moment really and truly we should have been in the position where that everyone now focusing on that chance at the end of the game we should have been two three now up before that moment if we took the other chances so for me the boy's been absolutely fantastic um, he had a great game today and I know he's upset about that chance at the end um, which you understand but you know, it's not the only one. Um, it's something that we need to address and start taking more of our chances that we create. And Jack, tell, tell us about Luigi, the story about Luigi. <laughs> well, Luigi, um, last year away to Lewis when we beat him 3 2, one of my mates, one in down on Brighton Pier, mm -hmm. brought him to the game. I've had a few beers and I've got Luigi out and I started singing songs with Luigi and it just happened from there, we went on every game, every time I had Luigi out we was winning, got to the playoff final and I remember there was a video of me of Luigi, I was on top of the stand, God knows how many beers I had and I've got Luigi up there in the sky and I'm just singing loud and high but yeah Luigi he was a, he was a mascot for last year uh -huh. if I could say like he, he just had that wow factor yeah, about him yeah. Yeah, every club everyone all the fans like what's with Luigi what's Luigi he was just a toy we won and did everyone wave back at you everyone waved back at me they did yes and did you get down off the stand okay uh yeah in the end I did yeah <laughs> in the I end, just think I you did. had a few pints it may have been yeah, a bit maybe, tricky uh, yeah I got a few people to help me down in the end yeah. but yeah in the end okay. there was a few people that had to help me down because I was a bit too so, so yeah. if you get there again this year are you going to be going up on top of a stand um we'll have to see about that one we'll have to see how many beers I drink okay. <laughs> <laughs> thanks very much indeed not a problem okay.